to trust is to be free. May 12, 2013 An intense and creative shift in humanity's perception of itself is happening all across the world in preparation for your move into full consciousness, full awareness of who you are and of your eternal inseparability from God, who created you to enjoy infinite and everlasting peace, joy, and happiness. Peace, joy, and happiness are states of mind. Modern psychology has informed you of that, and it has been well demonstrated, especially by those who have moved from depression and anxiety into peace and contentment by changing their minds and their perceptions. Everyone has the ability to change their perceptions, but until quite recently it was thought that an individual's perception, his view of life and the opportunities it offered him, was basically fixed a state of existence into which he was born and with which he had to deal to the best of his abilities. Now it is generally recognized that everyone does have the freedom to change those apparently given attributes for something more in line with their desires. It is a recognition that you are each masters of your own destiny, that how you experience life is a personal choice which you make in every moment. Yes, you all have different and indeed unique limitations, physical, intellectual, and creative, which vary from one to another, but they do not prevent you from altering the beliefs and the perceptions through which you view the world, your world. When you view life as unsatisfactory, unfair, painful, it means that you are focusing on those aspects of your experiences. You have all had experiences which at the time were fearful, painful, shaming, unjust, and perhaps afterwards you held on to what seemed like a totally justified sense of resentment or bitterness about it which only slowly dissipated as the time interval between you and that event increased, and the pain that you felt diminished. Then maybe weeks, months, or even years later, when you recalled that moment you saw that it also had a funny side and you could now laugh about it, or that it had taught you some important lesson or truth that you might not have learned otherwise and so you now feel grateful for the experience. When you are going through a period during which life is really getting you down, try to recall previous times that were painful but that you now view with the wisdom of hindsight, and remind yourselves that everything passes, and that there are always moments of value, moments of happiness, and moments of laughter during your daily lives, moments that are often missed because of the intense focus you place on what is going wrong or needs fixing. So make the intent to be aware of them and enjoy them. When you do this your stress levels fall, and you find yourselves more at peace. You are the masters of your destiny. God created you perfect as members of His divine field of love, endowed you with an infinite array of gifts, and honored your choices and decisions, including the choice you made to experience separation from Him. You have now chosen to terminate that experience, an illusory or imaginary state that exists only for as long as you support it. You have supported it by seeing yourselves as separated individuals living in an unsafe world, in which you have to take constant care not to be overtaken by or caught up in some dangerous and painful event or situation that could even cause your death. So you live on the defensive, only able to partially trust even those you love, always primed and ready to repel attack. That state is a state of fear, and fear shuts out love, refuses to acknowledge it, and focuses on the unloving personal energy fields that you have built around yourselves for protection, and which seems to demonstrate with monotonous regularity how wise you are to maintain them. Within the world where you are experiencing your human existence it seems insane to even consider dismantling that protective field, because when you look beyond it you see pain, suffering, chaos and confusion everywhere, threatening your very existence. But until you dismantle your defenses you will remain unable to dissolve the illusion, because they support it by attaching you to it. To trust is to be free, and you were created free. You are free, and you will feel free when you let go of the felt need to defend yourselves, and allow yourselves to dismantle those defenses. Yes of course, within the illusion your trust can be betrayed. It has been many times, and you have each betrayed others, but trust can only be developed and enabled to grow by engaging with it while not being attached to the outcome. People do not trust each other. They believe that their lack of trust is fully justified, and they therefore feel that there is no reason for them to honor another's trust. 
it is a catch-22 situation. The only way forward is to start trusting. Make the determined intent to trust, then ask God, your angels or guides, or anyone in the spiritual realms whom you feel intuited to call on to help you carry out that intent. Know that because you are still engaged with and experiencing life in the illusory world, some will honor that trust and others will betray it. Remind yourselves that you are way showers and light bearers and that you chose to be embodied on earth at this moment in humanity's evolution for this very task, demonstrating and honoring trust. Trust honored grows and strengthens. It is a demonstration of love in action. Those of you who have had children know what it is to trust, and trust again, as your children frequently break that trust. It is, as you well know, part of the process of growing from childhood to adulthood. Finally your children mature and learn the wisdom that your trust has been demonstrating. They then stop betraying it, allowing you both to rejoice in the love and honor in which you have always held each other. But now, trust has to move out of the safe confines of the family to be widely shared, globally shared. There will be disappointments, but to spread and share trust is part of humanity's spiritual evolution. And when you do so with courage and determination you will be well supported by all in the spiritual realms. Trust is growing now. It is an essential part of your awakening process. Take part in that process and do not allow disappointment with some of the results to dissuade you from that noble task. It is your collective intent to succeed, and so you will. Your loving brother, Jesus. Channeled by John Smallman. John Smallman 2.wordpress.com